If you are looking for a really nice kitchen appliance that does pretty much everything, well, you have found the right place because today I am going to tell you all about the Molto by Cooking Pal. Welcome to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen. And today is a little bit of a departure from my normal cooking of recipes because I have gotten a lot of questions from a lot of you asking about the Molto. Do I use it? Do I like it? Has it really held up the way I hoped it would? Uh, so I decided to go ahead and make an entire video about it. And in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you what the Molto does. I'm gonna to explain to you some of the things I use it for. And I'm going to talk about the pros and cons because yes, like almost any device, there are a few cons and I want you to be aware of them. I also wanna thank Cooking Pal for sponsoring this video, but I wanna be very clear. Everything I say in this video is completely true. It is my honest opinion because even though Cooking Pal did sponsor this video, they actually do do not have control over what I say in it. So having said that, let's talk about the Molto. Now, just so you know, I have a link to the Molto below. Uh, if you click that link, it'll go right to their website and you can explore all of the features in detail. For those of you who don't know what the Molto is, let me give you a brief overview. It is, as they call it on their website, an intelligent cooking machine, which it is. It does darn near everything you're gonna to wanna to do in your kitchen. It blends, it grinds, it whips, it emulsifies, but it also sautés and steams and simmers, and it cooks entire meals all at once. And I'm gonna show you how it does that in just a minute. So it does far more than a high-powered, high-speed blender. It also cooks, and it cooks full meals. And to answer the question I get all the time, Yes, I do use my Molto. I've had it about a year and a half now, and I still use it all the time. In fact, I use it even more. The longer I've had it, the more I use it. Uh, I use it almost on a daily basis now. So that ought to answer that question. Do I like it? Yes, I do like it. I told you an overview of what it does. How does it do that? Well, first of all, it has a very, very powerful motor in it. It can handle almost anything you throw at it. It can do everything from grinding coffee beans to taking hard Parmesan cheese and turning it into freshly grated cheese. The other day, I made homemade lentil flour out of dried lentils. It did it in about one minute, so it really is fantastic. I chopped my garlic in it and it takes four seconds, literally four seconds to chop my garlic. So it has the power to do almost anything you want. How does it do it? It is controlled with this tablet. Now, this tablet comes with the machine. There's no additional charge for it. And the tablet is what controls absolutely everything. So first of all, the tablet is loaded with recipes that Cooking Pal puts out. It has step-by-step -step instructions. It's got photos, it's got some video, um, and you can follow absolutely every recipe under their guided cooking section. It also has a manual mode where you as the user can pick what to do. I do that mode quite often. I pick the speed, I pick the temperature in order to do exactly what I want. So it's great that it has both of those options. It also has a self-cleaning mode that might be one of my favorite features. If you just put some water and some detergent in here, you can do it for a deep clean or a quick clean, and it has saved loads of time for me uh, when it comes to washing dishes. So love that feature as well. It also has a built-in scale. Uh, in some of the recipes where it'll say, okay, you need four ounces of olive oil, you just tap the scale and pour it in and it will tell you when you've reached four ounces. So it's very, very convenient to have all of that built in. I absolutely love making soups in it because it does all the steps in this one unit. Like I said, I chop my garlic, then I put in the olive oil and I saute it for five minutes, and then I add the rest of the soup ingredients. I made this creamy zucchini soup the other day it was to die for. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I definitely am gonna come out with that video. It was so good. I don't use dairy in my creamy soups anymore, so I use cashews. So I put the cashews, I put the zucchini, I put the vegetable broth in the molto and let it spin and simmer um, and then blend it on high speed and it was ready in about a half hour and I had to do almost nothing and it really was delicious. So I've told you about some ways that I use it on a daily basis, but I do also use one of their best features and that is the Molto's ability for stackable cooking. Now, what happens in the stackable cooking is there are these two trays, one is shallow and one is deep. And depending on what you're cooking, 
Uh, you put one food in the deep tray and another one in the shallow tray, and then you just cover it, put some water in the bottom of the pot, and then secure it to the base and it will steam cook everything. I have an example of that in this video here. I did a creamy ham and broccoli mac and cheese, so good, and it was all in this stacked way of cooking. So definitely check that out if you want more information on that. And in addition to the stacking, it also has a simmering basket. I use this to do hard boiled eggs. I use it to do brown rice, which by the way, it is by far my favorite way to cook brown rice, by far always the best. So I use this for that. And then here's the whisk that you use if you want to whip up some egg whites or maybe make some whipped honey butter. So good for that. So that's an overview of many of the things that the Molto can do. Let's talk about the pros and cons just a little bit to give you all the information that you need to decide if the Molto is something that is right for you to purchase. Now, pros, quality, for sure that's one of my top pros. This, now I've had it a year and a half and it is still, it just is solid. It is built well. It feels like it's built well. It's got suction cups on the bottom of the base. So when you're kneading bread dough or something like that, it doesn't shake around everywhere. The actual bowl is very lightweight. It's a large capacity bowl. And I love the capacity because I do cook for a lot of people. And of course, the stackable cooking method, that just simplifies my life for sure. The motor is very, very powerful. That's another pro. And the tablet, I've already told you how much I love this tablet. I like that it is wireless. It does have a plug that attaches to it uh, when you wanna charge it, but when it's fully charged, you just take it off. And then it has this stand to put it in so you can see it all the time. So those are some of the pros about what I love about this machine. Now let's talk about some of the cons. There really aren't many, but there are a few. Every once in a while I get a technical glitch with the tablet and I have to reboot it. That's a little bit annoying when I'm just getting ready to cook something, but it doesn't take long and it does work every once in a while. I have to do it a couple of times. So that's a little bit of a con, but all smart kitchen devices are going to have that issue. They need updates just like your computer or your phone. So that's just kind of the way it is. Another con is that some of the recipes are a little bit clunky to follow. Um, while most of them are very clear, they have step-by-step -step instructions and you can go right through them. Occasionally, there's one that, it, that that step is just not clear. Like, am I supposed to use the steaming basket for this or am I not? It's, sometimes it's a little bit unclear. They are constantly going through and updating their recipes. So those are getting fixed over time and it's much better now than it was a year ago. But I still do see that occasionally. Likewise with the recipes, occasionally either the wording or an ingredient is not something that we are familiar with here. Um, I think it's stuff that you see probably a lot in Europe. So if you're European, that's great. <laughs> you would understand it. It's not like it's a foreign language. It's just occasionally the terminology is just a little bit different than what we're used to. So sometimes you have to think about what did they actually mean by that? Again, as they go through and update recipes, that is getting better and better as time goes on. Now the last con, and I hesitate to put this in the con category, but it is an expensive machine. It's $999. And for people out there, especially in today's world, looking at investing in a kitchen appliance, you know, it's not cheap. It's not like buying a hundred dollar Instant Pot. So a lot of thought goes into the purchasing process and I understand that. Uh, what I will say is I think it's really important to look at the value you get for that money and if you look at it that way, then that one goes right back into the pro because what you get for that $999 is not only a lot of devices in one unit, of course, it's a very high powered blender. Some blenders, just the blender are eight and $900. So already it outperforms that because it also cooks and it steams and it cleans and it does all these things but also it has all of these recipes that they are constantly creating and constantly inputting and they don't charge an additional fee for that. There are a lot of these products that have recipes, but you have to pay for a subscription. Molto includes that. I think that's a huge, huge bonus and it lends to the value of what you're getting for the money. So while initially some people might look at the price and think it's a con, 
Honestly, with the value, it really is a pro. So hopefully I have given you enough of an overview. I have given you enough of the specifics and I've also evaluated the pros and cons to help you make a decision. Please go ahead and click that link below to look at more information about the Molto. If you do choose to purchase it, at the checkout screen, use coupon code the spicy apron, that's me, uh, and you will get an additional $80 off. So hopefully that helps out a little bit. Thank you for watching the Spicy Apron cooking show. Happy cooking and happy eating.